Yo, what's going on, boys? It's Chain of Rock Wild Sound. Welcome to today's video. In this video, we have a super cool getter bass, and this is what it sounds like. So, there's obviously a lot of things that we can do with this sound, and it really, really sounds cool. So, if you guys like that bass, make sure you drop a like on this video, or, you know, drop whatever rating that you feel is suitable for this bass. So, yeah, it just helps me out. Figure out where you guys are with the sounds, and drop a subscribe button if you like this sound, and you haven't already. You know, we got awesome videos. So, let's go ahead and get started. Now, this bass is actually very, very interesting to make. Um, it's, what I figured out is Getter's actually been doing a quite a bit with the basic shapes after i saw his snapchat story one day um he had basic shapes in one of the sounds and then i'm like okay let's let's work around see what we can do and uh you know that's what we got so we're gonna start off oscillator a we're gonna go to basic shapes oscillator b is also going to be basic shapes so for now we're just going to focus on oscillator a and um or actually we'll start on oscillator b oscillator b is going to be our host for the frequency modulation that's why i did it it doesn't really matter oscillator a or oscillator b i just did it previously with oscillator b so i uh, might as well while well, my mind's still fresh anyways oscillator b we're going to turn on to a square waveform right here that's uh halfway and what we're going to do here is just turn on our fm from a okay so this isn't going to really make a difference right now because oscillator a is turned off but as we turn this up to about the 36 percentile we're going to leave it about there and then we'll turn on oscillator a so we can hear the difference um anyways we're going to drop the level on oscillator b to stick on a low frequency oscillator um and then we could just kind of make whatever ramp that we feel we want in the sound. I made a little thing like this. It's all up to you, personal preference. But anyways, into oscillator A, we're going to change this. Oh yeah, drop this level down first, so we don't have any of that extra feedback. And then the we're gonna drop this to a um, a saw waveform. And you can actually transfer it between a saw and a triangle, which is what I did with the tone macro. But anyways, uh, let me trigger that. And what you're going to notice as we turn up the octave, we start to receive more of these FM frequencies. Um, so anyways, we're going to turn on the um, LFO1 onto the FM as well. And this is really what's going to bring in um, a little bit more movement to the sound. And while we're also um, reaching these top parts, parts in the ramp, we're also going to be hitting these frequencies that create that really nice harmonic sound, as you can hear. So now this part really comes down to what tone that you're looking for in your particular sound. So uh, I'm going to leave it about here. Okay, so next into oscillator A, we're going to turn up the semitones up seven. Uh, that's what I did. You can leave it here. Turn it up. It's all up to you guys. Um, that's what I was messing around with down here. I just dropped it to a macro. But anyways, yeah, that's all we have to do for the oscillator selection into the um, yeah, as you can see guys, um, you really don't have to do much to start to create a really, really cool sound. All we have is two basic shapes and actually funny thing is when we turn this to a triangle waveform, um, I found that it actually sounds really similar to Zomboy Invaders bass, uh, the da -da 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 that bass. Oh uh, yeah. So anyways, we're going to go to our filters, turn on a high pass 24. And from here, we're just going to drop that cutoff all the way down. And we're just going to begin to modulate it to where we hear, like, wherever we, we wherever we really want it. Um, the high pass filter is really what's going to create that opening mouth vocal sound. Uh, we have to turn on for oscillator B. Turn up the resonance a little bit. That's uh, maybe... That's about where I want it for this bass. And then turn up the drive a little. The resonance is really just going to bring on a heavier presence onto the sound. And now into the effects. The effects is going to start us off with the hyper. I know that I've been doing a hyper a lot lately. And it does kind of create that generic serum sound as Nasco pointed out to me. But, um, you know, it, for this sound, it really is kind of an essential piece. So I'm going to try and cut down on the hyper. Um, because it does kind of 
start to make sounds more generic but this one it completely makes it sound awesome so yeah we're gonna turn on dimension as well turn down that size just a tad bit about two turn on compressor turn up that gain and now finally we're gonna go into our EQ and we're gonna turn on these two slopes so these are gonna be our peak slopes um, basically it's just uh, emulating a double peak filter by what we're going to be doing here and we're going to turn up the gains on both of these and now the frequency is going to be modulated um, for, for this first one this lower end we're going to drop to about like right around here this is about 50 hertz 60 hertz somewhere around here and we're going to just modulate whoa easy there modulate it to go up and it's really just going to emulate a talking sound maybe turn on that gain a little and now onto the frequency of the higher end uh, peak we're going to do the same just turn up that frequency a little bit and maybe just make turn on that gain and yeah that's really all it took to make this bass Oh yeah, when you turn it up a little bit more, it does uh, sound a little bit better. That's interesting. Maybe turn on a sync, just mess around. Okay, that's enough for today's video. Um, anyways, guys, that was a really really cool sound. So if you guys like this sound drop a like drop that subscribe button click it i guess i don't really know what i mean drop it but click it you guys know what i mean anyways i'm shane from rockabout sound and i'm signing out